to understand why black holes cause so many conceptual problems, it, it might be worth just describing very, very briefly what a black hole looks like. So, a black hole, what do you see from the outside? Well, there's an event horizon surrounding the black hole. In some sense, it defines the boundary between the external universe and the interior of the black hole. And if you go across the boundary into the interior of this sphere, then even if you can travel as fast as the speed of light, you can't escape the gravitational pull of the black hole. But another description of the event horizon, which confused people all the way through the history of black hole research actually, was the idea that the event horizon, when viewed from the outside, is a place in space where time stops. Now that's a direct prediction of Einstein's theory of relativity from the external perspective. There is a central problem though, which is still not solved, which is what lies at the center of a black hole. Most astronomers and theoretical physicists have historically supported the concept of the Big Bang as the origin of our universe. However, challenges related to dark matter, dark energy, and cosmic expansion have prompted some astronomers to reconsider our understanding of the early universe. Our universe is currently in a state of expansion and cooling, having emerged approximately 13.8 billion years ago in a high-temperature Big Bang. Nevertheless, there is a plausible alternative perspective suggesting that our universe, as observed from within, could be the consequence of existing inside a black hole. This concept, though intriguing, remains relatively underexplored in contemporary physics discussions. A number of scientists are now exploring this unconventional notion, or attempting to establish connections between the singularity within a black hole and the singularity associated with the Big Bang. While it may sound peculiar, this theory is firmly grounded in rigorous mathematical principles. Surprisingly, it might offer the most compelling explanation for the universe's origins and our present observations. In the vicinity of the Big Bang, the level of entropy was exceptionally low, and over the past 13.8 billion years, it has steadily increased. This leads to the fundamental question of why the universe initially began in such an unusually organized state. Black holes stand out as some of the most remarkable and intellectually demanding naturally occurring phenomena in the universe. Presently, some of the black holes we observe are enormously more massive than our sun, posing intriguing challenges. Professor Brian Cox, in his exploration of the enigmas of our cosmos, elucidates the mechanisms governing their formation, their integral role within every galaxy, including our own, and the unrevealed secrets they may still harbor, poised for revelation. In the event that an individual were to descend into a black hole, their body could undergo a phenomenon known as spaghettification. So considering this, one might wonder why we, as inhabitants of the universe, are not being stretched, torn asunder, or subjected to spaghettification while inside a black hole. Dr. James Beecham, a particle physicist affiliated with CERN, dedicates his efforts to unraveling the profound enigmas of physics, and he rigorously investigates this phenomenon in pursuit of answers to the most significant unresolved questions in the field. Creating a black hole from the Earth would require compressing our entire planet into a volume roughly the size of a blueberry. Most black holes, however, are on a much grander scale, boasting masses billions of times greater than that of the Sun and volumes that encompass our entire solar system. When pondering the extent of the observable universe, we must consider that it is continually expanding. This expansion isn't into a tangible space, but rather an expansion of space itself. Due to the specific manner in which the universe expanded during its birth, there are regions that lie beyond our current observational capabilities, aptly termed the observable universe. These distant parts of the universe remain beyond our reach, 
The observable universe with a diameter of 93 billion light years is the sphere within which we can receive light signals from distant objects. However, the actual size of the entire universe remains an enigma. It could be infinite or possibly of a different unknown scale. Hypothetically, if we were to attempt to form a black hole from the entire observable universe, we would need to condense it into a volume slightly larger than the current observable universe. The intriguing question arises, do we inhabit an immense black hole? The answer depends on the size of the black hole, but generally, once you cross the event horizon of a black hole, there's no return. Consider that black holes not only consume matter but also expand. The event horizon becomes a boundary, an unreachable threshold. This is analogous to our experience on Earth, where there is a far-off horizon in space that we can never see beyond, though we know something lies there. No matter how swiftly we travel, we can never reach it, mirroring the situation inside a black hole. Remarkably, the mathematical descriptions for the interior and exterior of a black hole are strikingly similar, making mathematical sense in this context. The notion of our existence within a black hole is undeniably intriguing, but it requires concrete experimental evidence for scientific validation. To explore the concept of a universe within a black hole, researchers are actively seeking indirect methods of observation. Yet, a crucial step in this endeavor is comprehending the creation of black holes within our universe. Understanding the process by which the universe generates black holes is fundamental. To delve into the mysteries of singularities, it becomes imperative to merge the principles of general relativity and quantum mechanics. The fascination with black holes arises from the potential they hold in addressing one of the most enduring and pivotal questions in physics. The potential connection between gravity and quantum mechanics. Scientists are persistently engaged in the pursuit of harmonizing these two theories with the hope of uncovering a more fundamental theory that comprehensively explains the universe.